Rolling blackouts have cost the mining industry billions of rands. This is seen in the latest statistics from Stata Say. The constant rationing of power cuts are seen to begin eating into production gains. This is why mines such as gold fields have taken it upon themselves to produce their own power using solar. This project will see the mine saving more than 20% in their annual power bill. Goldfield says the first phase of the construction of its 60 megawatt solar plant began in October last year. It plans to decarbonize its electricity supply by focusing on looking into the feasibility of wind turbines, exploring battery storage solutions, wheeling electricity while expanding the solar park. We've built this plant to generate 50 megawatts. We licensed for 60 megawatts at the moment, but obviously can't consume the full 60 right yet. But as we pick up production, we will. It's also worthwhile to look at it in terms of gigawatt hours. So we've designed the plant to deliver just over 100 gigawatt hours per annum, which will make up 25% of our annual uh, gigawatt consumption of just over 400 gigawatt uh, hours per annum. The mine says it wants to see more mines taking up this initiative. This will help lessen the pressure on ESCOM's grid. On the other hand, the mine says the current global conditions are impacting on their operations and therefore it will be looking at sourcing parts locally to avoid the sharp importing costs. Inflation, we, we're obviously feeling it with where the exchange rate is going. Uh, we're also then seeing certain key commodities that we're sourcing out of Europe. Uh, uh, ammonium nitrate which is one of the things that drives explosive prices there's certain uh, steel products which impacts on some of the equipment we buy because that's sourced uh, from eastern Bloc countries and then there's this the general inflation that's happening so we are under pressure we we are keeping our inflation within targets goldfields is also prioritizing its esg targets which include tailings management gender diversity and water conservation Currently South Deep is recycling 80% of its water, just north of 80% of its water. We are exploring opportunities uh, to improve on that and one of the big drives on the mine and, and we've started installing reverse osmosis plants is that we want to become uh, totally independent, uh, that we're not consuming potable water. On Friday, the power utility signed a deal of more than 20 years with four independent power producers. This will see the power utility adding an estimated additional 2,000 megawatts to the grid, lessening the pressure on the grid with the hope of slowing the frequency of crippling rolling blackouts. Notando Makutulela, SAPC News, Johannesburg.